Hello everyone, so this is how I trade on the stock market. So let's look at my port portfolio today. So if you watch my last video, you can see I showed you all my holdings, all the details, all, all my trades for the past 12 months and how I pick my stocks. So this is what I normally do before every market open, which is at 9.30. I look at any opportunities to buy or anything I should, anything that I own that I should sell. So, um, so I use two accounts, I use Investors Edge and Quest Trade. <clears throat> so first let's look at, uh, I, I use Google Finance to pick my stocks. So uh, let's, I'm looking at uh, some pre-watched stocks on my list. For stocks that I watch because of, uh, either because they're big name companies or um, they've gone down s since or they're getting close to a 52 week low. Um, so and you know that I bought Enbridge at about 49 and I it's it's gone down since so I'm losing money on it but I'm still holding on to it or I might even buy some more if it reaches 45 so let's see what Enbridge is doing before market let's look at the pre-market activity of Enbridge sometimes you can tell if uh, what it will open at just by looking at the pre-market activity. Let's look at Enbridge. Okay, so we see bid ask, and the market hasn't opened yet, it's 9.16 a.m. So yesterday it closed at 46.80, but today, this morning, it's trading at 47.10. So I guess it's not going down to 45. Maybe it's going back up. So I'm not gonna buy some more. I'm just gonna wait until it reaches uh, my selling goal, which is about 53, 54. Um, what else? Verizon. If Verizon reaches 43, I'm gonna, I might buy some Verizon. See right now it's pre-market is it? It's at 45.50. I'm also looking at Barclays if it reaches 9.25 or even 9, but at 9.25 I'd buy. Teva, I bought it at 15, it went down to 11, and it's gone back up to 12, 12.41. Pre-market is 12.11, as you can see here. Uh, not going to buy at that price. If it reaches 10, I'd buy some more. Um, what else is there? Oh, this I this stock I owned, I bought it at 15, went down to 9. I bought some more at 9, then I sold what I bought at 9, I sold at 11. And, but I still own what I bought at 15, and it's it's going back up. Hopefully, hopefully it passes 15 so I can sell it. Uh, actually, let's see what it's trading at today. Cominar is what? Uh, no, Sonova CVE. CVE. .to. See, oh, it's, it's at 1450. Pre market is at 1450, so it's creeping up. That's good. That's good. So, right now, the only buying really, the true buy, really buying opportunity I see today is Barclays. Maybe I'll put an order on Barclays, Verizon, uh, Enbridge. Well, I'm waiting for Enbridge to go back up. I already own uh, CV. If it passes 15, I'll sell. Oh, ABX is also a good opportunity. It's a, one of the biggest gold companies in Canada, and it dropped to a new 52-week low, 1763. Let's, look, let's see what it looks like. Three months, six months, one year, five years. Let's see what the experts have to say. So Investors Edge gives me access to analyst reports. So I like to see what they say or, or their recommendation. So last close was 14. This is, I guess, in US. Fair value is 13.65. So they think it's overvalued. Hmm. 
but the recommendation is a buy 12 month target price 18 this is US so it's probably target price is probably like 22 Canadian 23 Canadian Twenty three Canadian. So maybe ABX is a buy. I'd probably buy it at maybe sixteen fifty or sixteen. Problem with ABX is this it doesn't pay much dividend. So let's say I I guess the wrong price and I have to hold on to it longer than expected. While I'm holding on to it, I'm not collecting that much that many dividends. So let's see how much I have available in cash. So I have 2,121 in Canadian and 2,112 in US. So maybe I can put an order on Barclays or Verizon, maybe Barclays. And on the Canadian side, I can put an order on ABX. So an order is, I'm, a, I'm able to put a limit price, so I'll tell the brokerage if the price drops below a certain point, you can buy you can buy some stocks of that company. So I think I already have some orders in place, order status. So yeah, I already have Barclays buy at 9.05. Enbridge sell, sell, sell. So I'm missing an order on the Canadian side if I want to buy something in Canadian. Let's look at my cost trade account though. I think I don't have anything, in, no cash available here. Let's look at my positions. I, I was at a $500 loss. Now it's that loss decreased to 369 because Teva went back up. Let's see what it's trading at before market. Oh, it's lower before market, 2% lower. That's a lot. Whatever. Hold on to it. Ignore. Find something else. All right, so Barclays. I have an order on Barclays. Maybe I can put an order on Barry Gold ABX. Put it at, what, 17 or 16.50? I'd probably put it at sixteen fifty. All right, so let me show you how to put an order. So my available cash is what uh, twenty one twenty one Canadian. So from that, I'm going to remove seven dollars of transaction fees, and then I'll divide by the price that I want to buy the stock at. So let's say sixteen fifty. So that gives me 128 shares. So for ABX, I can put an order of, so I can go to my quote, quote, quote list and just click on trade here. So I can only put, uh, I can only buy 128 shares at 1650 at the order that, at the price that I wanted. Good through, give it 30 days. Uh, buy, buy from my Canadian TFSA. So account, TFSA, buy, action buy, symbol, ABX, market Canadian, quantity 128 shares, the limit, I want to buy it at not, not higher at, than that price. So if it goes down from now until December 7th, below 1650, then I, it's going to automatically go through. I'll, I'll purchase 128 shares of that stock. So you can look at the real time quote, 1788. Uh, it's too far, but... That's the price I'm comfortable at. Next. So let's confirm again. To buy ABX Canadian Bear Gold 120 shares 1650. It's going to cost me 2118. And I have 2121, so I'm safe. Submit order. Okay, so this I'm waiting to go past 15, this I'm waiting to go past 17. 
this if it reaches 9.05 I'm gonna buy some this if it reaches 43 I could buy some let's see what it's trading at 45.35 yeah it looks like it's gonna go down this I'm waiting for it to go back up yeah so I think I'm good for today can, I can log out Got an order on ABX. It's probably not going to go through. I don't think it's going to reach 1650 today. Um, Barclays neither. I'm going to keep watching it today. Maybe I'll put an order on Verizon instead of Barclays. Because I think Verizon has a better chance of reaching 43 than Barclays has a chance of reaching 9.05. Okay, sign off. So yeah, that's it. So that's how I trade on the stock market. And that's what I do usually every morning before market opens. So I am prepared for any, uh, any opportunities. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And uh, I'm going to try to post uh, daily videos showing my, my portfolio and my performance.